whatever. Six and fifty-four. Alright. This second edge is six and fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made as Lord of all thy creatures. It says made a Lord over all the creatures. Go ahead. Of, of him come we all. Of him come we all. So everybody, right. everybody come from Adam. The Edomites come from Adam. The Ammonites come from Adam. The Moabites come from Adam. The Phoenicians, the them damn Hamites, they all come from Adam too. And they quick to say that when they come up. And when you start going into it by Israel is the chosen, right? They want to quickly throw that out there. If we all come from Adam. Yeah. If we all come from Adam. But the Lord, the Lord had a chosen. It's going to tell you. Go ahead. Uh, uh, and after thee, Adam also, whom thou made the Lord of all thy creatures, mm -hmm. of him come we all. Of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. The people whom thou hast chosen. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, uh, O Most High, because thou made it the world for our sake. He made it the world for our sakes. He made the world for the, for the Israelites' sakes, man. The uh, world. I mean, that's, that's like the, this whole earth is ours, man. Uh, and the universe, man. You know? Go ahead. Shoot. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. Uh, as for the other people, who also come from Adam, because they like to say we come from Adam, but this uh. pertains to you, to you uh, children of Ham, and you children of Japheth, and you other children of uh, of uh, Abraham, like Ishmaelites, the, the Syrians, the Moabites, Chinese, Japanese, you know, Containing you all right here. Go ahead. Uh, verse 56. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. He said you are nothing. But be like unto spittle. Be like unto spittle. Right? And has likened the abundance of them. He said be like unto. Go ahead, let me hold on. I'll go ahead, my baby. He said be like unto spittle. Right? No. Now, spit really ain't shit. Uh -huh. That's why we spit. You don't go, when you spit on the ground, you see shit is there. Right? Go ahead. And has likened the abundance of them uh, unto a drop that fallen from a vessel. A drop that fallen from a vessel. So if you carry, the analogy is if you carry a bucket of water, right? If a little bit fall out, you're not gonna run back to the well and refill that little bit that fall out. You're gonna keep pushing till you get to your point. That little bit that fall out is, is meaningless. So the Lord said, you are like unto that drop from a vessel, you other nations. So y'all ain't, y'all ain't shit. The chosen, that's who, that's who he, he loved, man. Uh, he chose who? Israel. That's right. You know? Go ahead. All right, verse 57. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, uh, O Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. behold, these heathen, which have ever been uh, reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us they have and to devour us. Begin to be lords over us and devour us. And the reason for that, when Israel sins against the Most High and you don't follow them some law, statutes, and commandments, the Lord will put them damn dirty ass heathen dogs over you. Cause. And they will devour you. They will oppress you and bring anguish on you. They will kill you, man, in any kind of way they can. Right now, it's 2016. We still up under this fucking dog ass Edomite, man. All right. We still under. We still in subjection under him, man. Waiting to be brought up out of subjection by Yahweh Shai when he come back and make his return, his debut, man, and destroy you damn heathens, man. And put y'all under his subjection. Give me um, um cause y'all ass going in slavery. I said right. and one. The whole Psalms 2. Yeah. Say, I saw what? The whole, yeah, 2 and 8. That's right. This is Isaiah chapter 13. It's a lot. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob. Say, He will have mercy on Jacob. There it is again. Why does he keep saying he's going to save Israel? He's going to have mercy on Jacob. Because he's chosen. 
God. Everybody else is just like it said in Ezra, you don't matter, man. You know, go ahead. For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob mm -hmm. and will yet choose Israel. And he will yet choose Israel. That's plain. I, I mean, that's plain and to the point. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. God. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And yeah, them strangers right there, those are Israelite foreigners. Right? right. That word goes back to uh, Gar. Gar comes from Moses' son, Garsha. And Garsha was born, what? In a strange land. God. Right? So those are Israelite foreigners right there. That that's talked about when you read that in, I, in uh, Isaiah 14 and 2. Go ahead. All right. uh, this is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Mm -hmm. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Most High. God. For Go servants ahead. and for handmaids. For servants and handmaids. Go ahead. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Gun. They should take them captives who captives they were. Are we captives right now in the hand of Esau? God. Sir. Are we not still in subjection under Esau in America? Right. So that scripture saying we're gonna take them. We're gonna have them, we're gonna we're gonna possess them and have them as the bomb men and bomb women, man. Give me Psalms two and eight. Alright, this this Psalm uh chapter two, verse eight. Ask of me. And I shall give the heathen for thine inheritance. Say, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. We pray for that. At least I know I do. I hope right. God is praying for that too. Because we pray for that, man. That we possess them, man. The nation of Israel, the Negro, Latino, the Native Americans, we don't possess nothing right now, man. You don't possess nothing. And when you possess something, that's taking ownership. Shit, you don't even fucking possess, own the damn car you driving, man. Yeah, you don't even own your damn self. Hell no, you don't own your land. You don't own shit. I lean on this, I lean on that. You don't own shit, man. That's right. You think you own these houses and shit, these car Esau come take that shit. Like right. tomorrow. But it's a beautiful thing the Lord said, ask of me and I will give you the heathen for thine inheritance, man. Uh, so we wait, we wait patiently on that day, on the Lord's return. Right. And put them damn Edomites in hardcore subjection. Hardcore. You know? Alright, uh, the Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, mm -hmm. and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Uh, verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. He said we shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. If, if, you, if you have a vessel, you let it go and hit the ground, it's going to dash into many pieces. Them pieces going to be dashed so much that you ain't going to be able to put it back together. That's right. So when we break Esau, then it won't be no coming back to power for them. That's right. They power going to be broke all the way to ship. Right? Yeah, how was I gonna be leading that charge? And yeah, we're gonna be joint heirs with him. I'll tell you that in uh we'll get Romans uh 8 16. Alright, this is Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. He said the spirit itself, the spirit is it with us, bear witness with what? This Bible, right? Uh -huh. And these are the words of the heavenly father. So our spirit bear witness. What did it say? Uh, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. That we are the children of the most high, man. That's why when people come up here and try to battle against what we're saying, right, they get confounded because they, they, they're not the uh, children of the most high, man. And if they are the children of the most high, they just, they part of them two-thirds that's rebelling. But the heathens, they can't come up here and battle against the, uh, against the scriptures, man. Nothing we say that coming out of the scriptures. Because when they come up, they already think we're speaking out of our own council. But they don't know we're coming out of the council. Y'all, Bashi, y'all, Shadow. Right? And they get confused.
found it because they're not uh, the children of the Most High, man. Go ahead. Uh, in verse 17, and if, and if children, then heirs, and heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, it'll so be that we suffer with him that we may be also glorified together. God, so we're going to be joint heirs, we suffering with him, right? He suffered. We know the sufferings that he did. So we going through them, not, not as harsh as he did, right? But we still going through sufferings. We're going to inherit this kingdom with him. We're going to be joint heirs. So if he beating in the shivers, you damn uh, other nations and you heathens, and, and, and you going under possession of him, we're going to inherit the same thing. We're going to be beating y'all down to him. And we're going to have y'all as in a possession, as a possession. So that's the scriptures, man. You can argue with it all day, right? And try to hope it prolong, but hey, it's tearing, but it's not gonna tear. It's delaying right now, but it ain't gonna delay for long. Because if you look at the news, it's, it's too much happening right now, man. It's too much happening right now. We know it's getting close to the end through these prophecies of right. this Bible. You know, give me um do the right of me, Because yeah. y'all y'all was put here, man. Hey, you other like it's, the scriptures say y'all put here to be a possession for us, man. 71. All right, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1. When the Most High thy power shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before the Hittites. And, these, the and these are African nations, right? It's in the name. Go ahead. And the Gergeshites. Uh -huh. And the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hith and the Hith Hivites. And the Jewsites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Seven nations greater and mightier than thou, man. The Lord, man, he always used small numbers when he's dealing with to show his power through Israel. He only he deal with small numbers, man. The Lord ain't gonna have no army of 30,000 get took down by 20,000. He'll have an army of 30,000 get took down by like 300. Uh, show you his power, that you will know that that power of those people did it. Go ahead. Uh, chapter seven, verse two. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them mm -hmm. and utterly utterly destroy them. He said utterly destroy them. Wipe them out. What a love that. Yeah, what a love that. <laughs> Thought the Lord loved everybody. What a love that. Yeah. That's the Lord, cold blooded, ain't it? The Lord loved everybody. <laughs> That's cold blooded. The Lord gave them a charge to do that. That cold blooded right there. They racist. They racist. Yeah. <laughs> know what it is. They racist. Biggest. <laughs> Thou shalt make no covenant with them. No covenant. Don't make no pledges with them. Right? Nor show mercy unto them. Don't show them no mercy, man. When you go in there to kill their ass, you kill them. Right. If the Lord tell you, give you your order to kill everything, you kill everything. Huh. Right? You know, go ahead. Chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Neither shall I make marriages with them down heathen. Now, hey, we got Israelites... We'll just, we'll just pop them heathens though. We'll just lay on with it for a quick pleasure right quick and get on up. But when you start uh, marrying them and shit, and then you sneaking away to they little shrines on Sunday and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Eating that damn, uh, you know, you would to get with a Moabite, you start going to church on Wednesday morning at 10, eating ox, ox, uh, what them damn things, eight legs, octopus. And, all that shit and scampies and shit, they have you eat fucking dog if you don't watch it. Eat them babies. Yeah, you be eating humans, babies, fetuses and shit. You know? Yeah. You get with them damn Hamites, you'll start eating abominable shit. You get with them damn Edomite shit. You just really gotta watch it. They have you eating any, any goddamn thing. Cause they gonna eat anything the other nations eat. Yep. yep. Doing all this wicked ass shit. You start putting them up like a like a giving them the same privilege. 
Continuously nourished by sexual intercourse mm. and perfected in a lifelong partnership of mutual love and commitment. Now, the Jakes that's unlearned, right? They would say that you can't marry the other nation. Well, marriage is dealing with sex, according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Right. So you telling me in the kingdom, the heavenly father and his son, law gonna be pushed throughout the earth. Do you mean to tell me, according to the Bible, we're gonna have have the other uh, nations in slavery and we're not gonna be able to pop that women and use them as concubines? That what you telling me? When you look at Look at the scriptures and understand the uh, understand the meaning of marriage. Yeah, you can pop, it, but the thing about it is, the thing about it is, you can't give them no privileges. They set them up as the order that you would set up an Israelite one. All right, you can't do that according to the Bible. And the reason why the Lord, when you read it in there, continue to read. He's gonna go in. Thou shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following thee. And then when you go into the history right there, them Canaanites in that land, they were just all sorts of, all type of witchcraft. They were worshiping any and everything. And the Heavenly Father said, look, just go in there, and destroy them. Don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't be popping them. Don't be doing none of that. Just go in there and destroy them. Get rid of them. Women, women, kids, everybody. Get rid of everybody. And that's what the Lord was saying at that particular time. You see? Oh. But Fun. throughout history, you had Israelites, right? Give me Nehemiah 13 and 23. You had Israelites, right, that was doing that in other time periods where when they was in their land, okay, when they were about to build they build the uh, temple back up during the time of the uh, uh, Persian rulership. Let me what you got, huh? I get it. Y'all ain't got it. Nehemiah 13 and 23, and it says, just to build on what the brothers what the brothers is going into, and I'm gonna hand it right back to you. Oh, I married, cause, okay. cause Jake, Jake will see that and say, well, you can't marry the other women, you can't pop the other women. At that particular time, Yahweh had sent that order, look, not to marry them Canaanites, okay? Not to pop them, not to do nothing with them. Just kill them all, okay? Now, if the brother will finish that off, and uh, I want him to hold Nehemiah, right, and reread that in Deuteronomy, seven chapter. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 4 For they will turn away thy sons from following me that they may serve other gods 
See, that's the key. That's what the most high didn't want them to do because they were gonna get ready to take hold of that land. And you can't do that in that land or the land will vomit you up, okay? You can't serve other gods in that, in that land which Israel was about to possess. Go ahead. So will the anger of the most high be kindled against you mm -hmm. and destroy thee suddenly? See, destroy thee suddenly, go ahead. Verse 5, but thus shall ye deal with them, ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their grooves, and burn their graven images with fire. So, the Heavenly Father gave the order out not to worship that madness, and destroy everything that they into. Okay? That's the order he gave. Go ahead. Verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. So you separate. You pure. Go ahead. The most high thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So don't fall after them evil. Do what I tell you to do. Go in there and possess that land and put everything to death. Destroy their idols and don't be joined to them. Okay? Don't be joined to their women because they'll seduce you and pull your way. Because they was all in the witchcraft and sorcery and the voodoo and all that madness. Yeah. Okay? And Israel was not supposed to partake in that. Okay? Is that it on that island? Right, uh, give me what you got in Nehemiah. Nehemiah 13, 23. All right, look up. Go to Nehemiah in the blue letter. In those days right. also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. See? Now, it's another account, okay? Deuteronomy was an account, okay? When they was going in to possess the land, boom. And then you had another account where Israel was in captivity. And when you read Nehemiah, it was about Israel going back to that land because it was a decree that they was gonna build that land back up, the temple back up, because it was destroyed, okay? But they had to start separating themselves from them heathen, okay? Go ahead. Uh, it says, verse 24, and their children spake half in the speech of Ashtar and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. It says, and I contended with them and cursed them. It says, cursed them and smoke certain of them and plucked their hair and made them swear to the most high. Uh, it says, Nehemiah 13 and 20, 24, uh, and their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod. See? Go ahead. They could not speak in the Jews' language. What language? Hebrew. Okay? They wasn't even learning the Hebrew like they were supposed to. They were learning the language of the heathen. See that going on right there. Go ahead. But according to the language of each people, mm -hmm. and I contended with them and cursed them, See? and spoke certain of them, mm -hmm. and plucked of their hair, and made them swear by the Most High Yahweh, mm -hmm. saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, mm -hmm. nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Boom. He used Solomon. The reason why when Solomon got became old, that's when the spirit was leaving. And the women was able to seduce them. Okay? Because Solomon had a lot of women. Okay? Go ahead. It said, Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him. Go ahead was beloved of the Most High, and the Most High made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. Cause to sin. Go ahead. God, it says, verse 27, shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil to transgress against our power and marrying strange wives? Look up that word marriage right there. Marrying strange wives. The word marriage. This is uh, Hebrews 34, 27. Hebrew word Kesha. Uh, Strong's definition. To sit down. Uh, to dwell. To remain casually. To settle. To marry. Make to abide. Continue. Uh, ease self. Endure. Establish. 
Israel habitation. So, so what Israel wasn't supposed to do is basically play house. Same way you, same way you do an Israelite woman. Uh, Jake wasn't supposed to do that. Okay. Jake wasn't supposed to give the uh, them other nations, them women, the privilege to play house with Jacob, so to speak. Okay. And that's what Solomon did. That's when he when he went off and he started building strange uh, idols in the land for the women. So that's the same way. Israel, when you when you become uh, joined to them women like that and you playing house with them like that, and you fall all in love with them like that, you start going astray and not speaking the language, not keeping the custom, and you start going off. You ain't supposed to do that shit. Uh, uh. Okay? But you can pop them. But you ain't supposed to be playing house, you ain't supposed to be falling in love with them, you ain't supposed to be setting them up and giving them all them privileges. Hell no. Hell no. You ain't supposed to be teaching your teaching your kids to learn their ways. Hell no. Okay? Get some more on that definition. Place, remain, return. Uh steal, team down. Take, Terry. Yeah, so that's the key. That's the key right there. So playing house with him, you know, Jake ain't supposed to do that. To dwell, have one's abode. See? See, to dwell. So that's basically you play, basically playing house, man. You ain't supposed to do that, man. And, you, and, and Israel will go off. So Israel got in trouble for doing that. You can pop them, but when you start falling in love with them and keeping house with them and start building a uh, idol for them, then now, nah, man, you going off. Nah. Teaching your kids, teaching your kids the, the, the custom of them uh, other nations. Man, that's another one. And Tobit, right? Where where Tobit was told not to marry uh, uh, another uh, strange women. Now I just, but you brothers can read it. There's another one in Tobit where he was told not to marry strange women. When you read that story, it was dealing with Tobit and his family keeping that land and the inheritance within that tribe. That's why he was told not to do that. Because he was supposed to marry that joint, be joined to that woman and keep their keep their inheritance uh, uh, within their nation. Okay? Uh, According to the laws of Moses. So that's why it was saying what it was saying in Tobin. But that's what I wanted to bring out dealing with that marriage. Because Jacob get confused, man. Right? When you read the Bible, marriage is dealing with sex. Okay? okay. It's dealing with sex. Okay? And the man was the head of the household. Okay? But when you start setting them women, them heathen women up, and having them having the same privilege as an Israelite woman, and you start falling after the custom of them other nations, and you start teaching your kids the custom of the other nation, and start building idols, you going off, man. This is uh, Ezra 10 and 2. And Shechaniah, the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, we have, trans we have trespassed against our power and have taken strange wives of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Yeah, go back up. Wasn't it, uh, uh, keep going, keep going. Where you at? Ezra 10 2. Yeah, it's gonna mention it. It's gonna mention the, it's gonna mention the nation. Start at the top. I right, you catch it, go to the point. Where you 